Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Afflictor Broadheads and we have a really neat series of videos coming in our In the Shop with Afflictor Broadheads because we are actually going to be in a shop. And we're gonna be showing you things like general setup, D-loop, peep sight, some really neat stuff. And for this whole series, we're going to be filming in an Ohio location of Finn Feather Fur Outfitters. So we really appreciate them uh, allowing us to use uh, their shop and their expert uh, technician and advice. I strongly suggest that you check out any of their Ohio locations it's a great place. If you're not signed up for their monthly uh, email flyer, get on their website, get that flyer. There's always some great deals. It doesn't matter if you're looking at hunting, fishing, archery related stuff, camping, whatever. They probably have what you need and you should check them out. So the first thing we're going to be doing uh, today is we are going to drop in a peep. And for that, we have Jonathan and he is up next. All right, guys, my name is John. I'm one of the archery technicians here at Fin Feather for Outfitters. We're going to jump right into dropping a peep in on this Matthews V331. Um, pretty simple. A couple things are already set up here. We've already got our D-loop. We've got a Bomar nose button on there. Those are things that we'd set ahead of time, get the customer comfortable with their anchor point, and then we'll go ahead and get this peep in and get it lined up. So we are going to put our peep sight in here. Usually there's a pretty standard me measurement we start out with. You're looking at about five, five and a half inches above the center of your D-loop just to start, and then we'll migrate that from there as we need. So on a new bow, we get these nice little string splice so that we know right the center of our string equal twists on each side. We'll go ahead and add a little bit of pressure here give us some slack to work with, divide that string in half, and then just take your peep sight facing forward, and then we'll drop that in. So that'll be right at that about five and a half inch mark there, above the center of that D-loop, and then that would give us our starting point. We would go ahead and take this out of the press, draw it, check the placement of that peep, make sure everything lines up. We already know this one's where it needs to be. So then we would go ahead and start our tie-in for that peep and make sure it doesn't move. Take some pressure back off of that, and then we'll jump right into that tie-in. So we'll just start that tie-in. I'm just gonna double over that serving. There's a bunch of different ways you can do peep tie-ins. If you look on YouTube, there's a million different uh, ways to route your serving, uh, lock it multiple directions. Most of them are really good, and it just is kind of a preference as far as how you want that peep to be held in. The biggest thing is just so that your serving is going, basically locking against itself, and any type of serve job on a peep that does that will be sufficient. Uh, for the most part, we're just going to do this style, which is just top, around to lock that peep in and then down the bottom on the same side. So you just double over that serving. Everybody has a different amount of counts they do here. For me, I usually do five around. So we're just going around both pieces. So that serve five times, double back your tag end. I'll do another five here and then we'll pull that tag end tight. So that locks down your top serve. Now this is where I'm talking about going against it. I'm gonna come up and under here so that this piece gets locked against itself. Instead of if you go the other way, it's gonna have a gap there where it cuts across the top. So we'll go ahead and route this through. Some people count these, I eyeball them basically just so that there is an even number of that candy striping down the side. So we'll just watch that come down. So that's four there. So there'll probably be four on the bottom. That'll stop in the middle of the peep. Now same deal here, you're gonna make sure you wanna go the way that string naturally wants to go. So we'll go around one, around two. So now that people be locked in by having that on there. Go ahead, come back under here and then lock that against itself the same direction. So basically the same deal, you're just gonna follow that same direction the whole time so the serving holds against itself. And then I'm gonna do, we're gonna match that count. So we've got one, two, three, four stripes up there. So there's one, two, three, there's our fourth stripe. And then we're gonna come around, I'm gonna count off those five again. So I match the top, just making everything look symmetrical. So three, four, I'll do one more for five because that one's kind of a half. All right, so this is the part that takes everybody forever to learn. This is a back serve. We're gonna just pull our loop over, going underneath the inside of that loop, whatever many times you wanna have that wrap. Helps if you go the right way. Still do that, we'll go this way. So this is our back serve. We're gonna go around five times here. That way we have an even number. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four and then pull the fifth one through. So all that is is you're just taking that string, wrapping it through itself, and then unwrapping it the other way to counter serve. Take our little tool here, pull everybody tight, make sure nothing wants to slip and slide and move, and just pull all the way down to the peep. This is the part that sketches everybody out. Take your razor blade, cut yourself two little short tag ends, and then your lighter. So I usually just rotate the string so whatever I'm burning is facing up. Roll that lighter over so the flame is facing up, and then I just use the hot part of the flame and then get some calluses on your thumbs after you do this a few times. So go ahead and melt that down. 
and then stick it down with your finger. So then you get those nice little flat mushrooms, everything looks nice and pretty, and now that peep will be set. So at this point we'd go shoot, double check that everything lines up and that uh, the customer is comfortable. If not, we can move some stuff around and then make sure that everything sits straight. So a lot of times that peep may not be in a twist that wants to sit straight. So real simple fix, if we go and draw this and it's not straight, we can just take some slack off, pop that string off the cam, rotate it to straight, put pressure back on, and then that peep will sit nice in line with the cams. Yeah.